Hi there. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can check for errors that the monitors in your watch list have encountered and how to view the log of checks from your watch list. Let me head over to my watch list. Here, the third column from the right indicates the log of checks. The check log stores the log of information of time for your recent checks that the monitors have performed. If a monitor encounters an error during the check, the time is shown in red. See how some of the monitors have the check log in blue indicating that these have run successful checks, but some of them are indicated in red, which means that the monitors have encountered an error. To view the check log, just click on the last change time. Let me do that. Here, let me click on the last change time and the drop down opens up a log of checks. You can click on the error code here to view more details about the particular error. There is a more detailed blog on some of the common error codes that you will see and how you can troubleshoot them. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Please note that the check log is only shown on the device where the monitor runs for checks and it is not synced across devices. And the last changed on time is the time when the latest change was detected. And this time is shown in your local time zone. One of the most common error codes that people see on their monitor is the selection empty error. Let me go ahead and show you how you can troubleshoot that. So here my first monitor has a selection empty error. You can see that here. And the previous monitor I showed you also has a selection empty error. So what is a selection empty error? It means that um, the page was loaded successfully, but they still couldn't find the selected content on the page. This was probably because the monitor was working well earlier, but it started encountering this error because the selected portion no longer exists on the page. Now, let's look at this in a real time example. You can see that the first monitor here, uh, which is tracking the NVIDIA page for a particular GPU, has encountered a selection empty error. You can see that here in the check log. Now, this is probably because the portion that I selected to track no longer exists on the page. The first way I can troubleshoot this is by going ahead and creating a new monitor with a fresh selection or I can edit this monitor and use the visual selector to reselect the portion that I want to track. So I will do that by clicking on edit options. And here I will open up the web page selector and this will open up the visual selector, which will help me make new selections on the page. Since this is a cloud monitor, I'm using the distill web app to go ahead and edit my monitor because uh, the web app is where the cloud monitors run on distill servers. Now, let me open up the visual selector here. Uh, these selectors no longer work because that portion of the page has disappeared. Let me make a fresh selection here. I was tracking the first element on the results feed. So I will turn on the visual selector and make this selection. You can see that it picked up the, it picked up the first item in the feed and the same is loaded as text on the visual selector preview. Now I'll go ahead and save this selection and save my monitor. Since I have not run the monitor yet, you will see that it is still showing selection empty error in its uh, log of checks. Now, once I run it, since it has a fresh selection on the page, it should be able to run the checks successfully. Let's go ahead and run this monitor. You can see that it has started to check for changes. It shouldn't show me the error again and it should run a successful check. Yes, it worked as intended. It ran a successful check. Notice how the check log has a new timestamp on it, indicating that this was the last changed on time, 
which does not have any error codes next to it indicating that the monitor didn't encounter an error and it successfully performed the check. You can understand the same because the preview is loaded successfully picking up my intended selection. The second reason why you might encounter the selection empty error is because the selected element loads after a delay. This can happen when the element is dynamic and loads after a delay. So for this case, you can add a delay in the config. To add the delay, just go ahead and edit the monitor and click on the drop down next to open web page selector and click on show config. Here there is a parameter which indicates delay. You can go ahead and increase this delay by setting a value to it. Uh, let's say I change it to 10 seconds. This will wait for the delay period which here is 10 seconds and it will wait for the page to load and then it checks for elements. This is the second way in which you can avoid selection empty errors. Now let me go ahead and save this monitor. I hope that this gave you an idea of how you can troubleshoot the most common error which is the selection empty error and how you can view the log of checks uh, via the check log column.